Hey everyone, my name is Wedge, this is the Manasaurus, and we're back with our exclusive Commander 2016 preview card. I know things are about to get rowdy up in here. We're talking Seder Revel Rowdy, possibly Elvish House Party Rowdy, definitely absolutely Chaos Harlequin Rowdy. Without further ado, let me introduce you to our new Big Daddy Centaur. Stonehoof Chieftain is 7 of anything and 1 green for an 8 8 centaur warrior with trample and indestructible. Whenever another creature you control attacks, it gains trample and indestructible until end of turn. Quote, the pounding of his followers' hearts matched the beat of his hooves and their voices echoed his bellows. Okay, this is one fat centaur daddy. 8 mana for an 8 8 that clearly looks possessed, dude straight pissed. Being an 8-8 with Trample is great, no chump blocking, and having Indestructible gives some nice protection to, you know, the removal. The best part about this card, though, whenever another creature you control attacks, whenever! How do you feel about all your other creatures getting Trample and Indestructible in combat? Does that sound good to you? You don't even need to attack with the Stonehoof to trigger this for other creatures, just go nuts. Talking about a giant beat stick that enables other giant beat sticks, let's explore this more. Since the card has Trample and Indestructible, we're looking to take advantage of those incredibly relevant combat keywords with giant creatures. The first spicy commander I thought of when I saw this card, Animar Soul of Elements. If you've ever played an Animar deck or played against it, you know how out of control this elemental can get. At some point, your 8 mana chieftain is going to cost you a single green mana to cast. It's really hard to pass that up. Not to mention, it'll be in the same deck as Maelstrom Wanderer, Artisan of Kozilek, Kozilek, Butcher of Truth, Void Winnower. Think about all these creatures with constant trample and indestructible when attacking. It's devastatingly powerful. If you have any kind of board presence and you drop the Chieftain, it's going to require an immediate answer. If there's nothing that can be done about it, I don't know how most people stave off giant trampling, indestructible beat sticks. Seriously, I don't. Anyways, where else does the Chieftain fit? Mael, obviously, is there an easier include for our man horse? Mael gets to cheat it onto the battlefield for 6 mana at instant speed. Similarly to the Animar deck, we're talking about giving Trample and Indestructible to the likes of Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight, Terastodon, as if that elephant didn't need more upside, Combustible Gearhawk now, Ugh, there's so much value to be had here. It's important to understand why this card is so good. It is expensive, yes, but giving Trample and Indestructible to creatures in combat does two things. It reduces the effect of normally debilitating combat tricks, and it prevents your opponents from chump blocking. It passes the Doomblade test too, so you can't go wrong there, am I right? Stonehoof Chieftain may seem like your run-of-the-mill fatty, and a lot of the time it's going to function like that. It'll attack just fine, it'll block just fine, it'll do everything fat cards do just fine. But that ability, granting two of the most relevant keywords to every other attacking creature you control is huge, especially since the Chieftain itself doesn't have to attack. It's a very green card, but it plays it a bit safe, and I like that. I've always enjoyed Commander releases because we get to see cards that are slam dunks in certain strategies. Xenoghost God of Revels, Rurik Thar, there isn't much Centaur travel support, but for you crazy kids, Stonebrow exists. You see what I mean? The card's useful. Stonehoof Chieftain is a great card to smash face with. I love it. I think it's pretty sweet. Let me know what you think about our Big Daddy Centaur in the comments. Where would you put him? Any cool synergies you can think of? Be sure to let us know. Also, huge thanks to Wizards of the Coast for including us in their preview season once again. Always honored to be a part of it all. And a super huge thank you to all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for being here. You're all wonderful. More spoiler videos coming to you today and throughout the week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.